Okay guys, so this is a warm up that you can do for most any workout. You're going to start off by holding a light weight, a water bottle is quite good for this, a light weight in both hands is going to go right behind your head and come back down in front, okay? So we'll take that round three times in one direction, change directions, three times in the other direction, go back again, and then back again. So you'll have gone twice, three times in each direction. Okay, then hold the water bottle in your hand, press it overhead five times. Switch hands. Okay, set that down for now. You're going to do some zombie kicks, so stick your hands out in front of you. Okay, just go ahead and do as many as you can in the time that I'm doing them. Don't need to rush them. A couple more. Okay, that's fine. Okay, next what we're going to do is you're going to stand with your feet as close together as you can. Okay, so feet together. Sorry, legs as straight as you can, not feet as close as you can. Legs as straight as you can, heels down, you're going to lean over and get as close to touching the ground with the palms of your hands as possible. If when doing that you find that you have to reach forward or bend your legs a little, don't worry too much about it, that's fine. Okay, so hands on the ground, you're going to walk your hands forward into a plank position, come down onto one elbow, come down onto the other, come back up one hand at a time, walk your hands back in, and come up to stand down, okay? So go ahead and do that again. You're gonna have your feet nice and close together, legs straight, hands on the ground, start walking your hands out until you're out into a plank position, come down onto one elbow, down onto the other, back up onto one hand, back onto the other, walk your hands back in, come back to stand down, okay? Do that one more time. Feet together, legs as straight as you can, hands on the ground, Walk your hands out into a plank, one hand down, other down, back up on your hands, walk your hands back up and come back to standing. Good, well done. Right, take a big long lunge step, okay, so you're going to take a big long step, let your knee come down to the ground. You're going to put, if you step forward with your left leg, you're going to put your left hand on the ground and you're going to reach up into the air looking towards your palm with your right hand, okay? So just hold that position for a second or two, bring your right hand back down, touch it off the ground, push your hips down towards the ground, hang there for a second or two, and we're just gonna repeat that, okay? Reach your hand up towards the ceiling, and bring your hand back down. Okay, then we're gonna switch legs, you're gonna do it on the other side. So step forward with your opposite leg, if you step forward with your right leg, put your right hand on the ground, reach up with your left hand towards the ceiling. Okay, and then bring it back down, let your hips rest, sinking them down towards the ground. And we're gonna just do that one more time. Push down on your right palm, follow your left palm up to the ceiling. And then bring it back down to the ground. Okay. So far so good. Stay down on the ground. Next up you're going to go uh, hands and knees. So you're going to balance on all fours, hands and knees. Have your middle finger facing forwards. Wrists are directly below your shoulders. Knees are below your hips. Extend your right leg out leading with your heel. Okay, now you're trying to get that leg as straight as you can. Push it as far away from your body as possible. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Bring that leg back down. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Push your left heel up and away from you. Get your leg as straight as you can. Bring that leg back down. Extend your right hand out, leading with your thumb up in the air. Switch to your left hand, thumb up in the air. Okay, 
Now your left hand and your right knee are going to stay on the ground. You're going to extend your right hand and your left leg. Just hold that, hold that, and come down. Switch sides. Hold that. Keep your core nice and tight. Keep holding that. Come back down. Okay, back up onto your feet. Well done, so far so good. So what I want you to do next, you're gonna grab something, a small object. Uh, got a wee kettlebell sitting here, so it's ideal. Uh, it could be anything, a shoe, something like that, that's quite good. If you need to just pause for a second, run off, get your shoe, bring it back. Okay, you're gonna do little toe taps onto your weight. So one foot's gonna come up, tap, switch with the other. Okay, so just join in with that, switching feet, one foot then the other, one foot then the other. Okay, take a break. Pull your right heel up to touch your butt, switch it with your left. Okay, and you're going to keep doing that, one foot up then the other. And then we're going to go back to toe taps, back to flicking your heels up, we're just about done, back to toe taps, and back to flicking your heels up, that's it, good. Okay, so this warm up. It's fine for today's workout, it's fine for any, any workout, just get yourself moving, get your heart rate up a little, get the joints moving. Um, if you want to use this warm up for other workouts or for going to run, that works too, okay? So, go get on with today's workout. <laughs> 